for now. Um, how are you, everybody? We will talk today about Western uh, culture and thought. And as you can see here, um, we'll concentrate on um, the, 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 the theme of mythology. As you can see, I already downloaded or, or sent you uh, three different uh, links uh, we're going to uh, talk about today. The first is about mythology. If you if you just open it on Google, okay, we'll, we'll is you you find it on Google Scholar, and this is more specific where you can find different books and writings and uh, you know um, web, even websites that talk about this and you'll see it uh, cited okay with citation and also um, you'll see a YouTube uh, page that presents uh, all ideas about our different kinds of uh, mythology now before we begin with this I, I, I will let you see one of the uh, main um, PowerPoints to um, limit, in a way, uh, and to, to give you a brief idea about mythology. Now, mythology uh, in Western thought and, and culture, of course, you can see, you can have mythology, you can you have, a, have a look on mythology also in Eastern thought and culture, not only in, in Western. Here, I'm trying, I'll, I'll give you a general idea. Okay, well, this is what I will do now. I'll give you a general idea what is meant by mythology, and then we'll go uh, in depth to see what is uh, how a Western uh, thought and culture thought about mythology. Okay, so we have uh, more than one thing to do today. Let's start with mythology in general. What does it mean? As you can see here, it is derived from the Greek uh, word, which is mythos. And mythos means story of the people. Okay, story of the people. And lo logi or logi, which is logos in, uh, uh, in, in, in Greek. Uh, when I say logi, I said it the way it is in Greek, okay? Of course, in English you say logi. Now, logos in Greek, is it, uh, it, is, it stands for the word uh, of speech, word or speech. So I say the logos, logos. Uh, logos of God, words of God, okay? Um, so, it is the spoken story of people, and it is the study of people, and how things are interpreted from their, from their point of view, from their words, their words saying it, okay? So, it's tales, fables, so all this you can see in culture. So, culture includes tales, fables, interpretations, spoken words, okay? Um, a collection, okay, we can see a collection. We have liter literary uh, myth or collection of myths. Uh, so different stories that deal with various aspects of the human condition, as I said. And of course, as you can see here, uh, it gives you an, an idea, for example, the main thing that a myth uh, focuses on is, uh, for example, good and evil. And good and evil has to do with um, one of the, you know, if you remember last time when we talked about um, different branches of uh, philosophy, you remember here that we discussed um, ethics that has to do with good and evil. So it is based on uh, ethics here and also, but from a, a, a mythological point of view which is the story of it, how it developed into good and evil, and how it is uh, understood in that, uh, at that time as a, as a culture and his in history, okay? And then uh, it also goes to uh, what, we, what we think as part of uh, ancient history and insight here. So let's, let's, for example, and of course, if you can study it uh, in terms, if you, if you talk about mythology, you'll always talk about, you'll see this word, the word God uh, with a small letter. Because in ancient mythology, they used to think that, uh, you know, the pagan uh, different uh, gods or many gods, a plural, okay, uh, plurality, and, uh, you know, most, so we will see different and most uh, popular, let's say, mythologies. 
um, in, in different uh, cultures, in Roman, in Greek, okay, in ancient Eastern and Western. I know that our, your, your uh, course is uh, focuses on Western, but it's good to have an idea uh, a little bit concerning this um, mythology part uh, when we talk about uh, Eastern also. Now, and uh, God uh, in mythology, how they are interpreted and, and seen, okay? For example, uh, here, uh, you can, let's take one of them. Of course, uh, I gave you this link so that you can have a look on each one of them, okay? Let's see this one, for example, which is from uh, ancient uh, history, and it gives them the, the definition of uh, mythology, okay? Uh, it says, uh, uh, as you can see here in uh, uh, the, the beginning, it's from the story of people and logos of the word of speech and spoken story. And it's a study and interpretation of the sacred tales. So uh, to them, to people at that time, it was sacred. Okay. Of course, nowadays, we may not believe in that. Okay. Some people, they still do believe. Okay. Now, some fables uh, refer to certain cultures and the collection of it deals with the aspects of human uh, conditions. Now, what are the, those aspects? Uh, uh, aspects that deal with good and evil. Okay, these are the aspects. Good and evil, meaning of suffering. Okay, what is meant by suffering? The idea of happiness. Okay, it's all discussed in philosophy, right? But the roots of it were uh, given in um, a different uh, myth. Okay, and it is studied in mythology, the human origin, how, how was it created, okay, the origin of places, place names, and animals, um, culture, values, okay, tradition, uh, even the meaning of uh, life and death. So different, different things, and how, how, how is life after death, and uh, go, um, gods, or maybe one God. So it's the, the discussion that was in different uh, uh, times. So it, it, in a way, a myth uh, expresses or explains belief. It explains values. It, it explains subjects, uh, different subjects that has to talk how to, to deal with um, uh, culture, okay? Within a time timeline, within a specific timeline. So we may go back to uh, Greek or Latin or, or uh, um, maybe Indian, maybe Persian, okay, or uh, um, Egyptian, uh, Eastern or Western, it differs, okay? Maybe the Arab, if there is a myth, okay? Now, um, so the myth it tells a story of ancestors for erosions of humans, and it all concentrates on the world uh, and gods, supernatural beings, the, this is very important. The, so it is not scientific. When you talk about myth, you are not talking about something scientific. So it's supernatural beings. Um, we'll take uh, some some kinds of them. I know that you know, for example, the, the nymphs and mermaids, for example. We see them also in, in films and videos that or, or stories that you, you may read about them okay so it also discusses different heroes usually when we talk about heroes in myth we talk about superhumans okay superhumans so we are talking about humans that uh, they are not humans in in in, in nature they are superhuman so given the the, the qualities of god okay and the powers, when we see this, the quality, we mean here the, the powers, powers of God, like the case of Heracles, okay, or Hercules, as they say it in, in Greek. And here you'll see different um, gods in mythology, in, in Greek mythology, we'll talk about it later. Of course, um, it, it, it's away from science, it doesn't, it's not explained by the, in science. So... If we want to talk about it, it's in a way before the age of science. So it's pre-scientific age, okay? It's a pre-scientific age, as you can see here. And um, you you will see different, for example, uh, mythologies in different civilizations. So 
according to, for example, uh, psychiatrists, you'll see that some some of the myths uh, that are given in mythology uh, they they reflect sometimes the human psyche, the human needs of uh, people, uh, and the, this it reflects they 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 were trying as if uh, human beings at that time were trying to find a meaning. So why are, are they were uh, saying such uh, stories that are fake to us, that are, that are not realistic to us uh, nowadays, that are not scientific uh, or rational to us because they were searching for the meaning. They were searching for uh, to, to understand uh, life and many, many, uh, you know, uh, aspects of life that were in front of them. They, they didn't know how to. Um, you know, uh, understand or how to uh, uh, think about it in, in in terms of order uh, of the in in the world. They didn't understand, for example, certain uh, natural uh, cases. So here we have uh, the the civilization throughout the world. It's so it's prehistoric. Uh, for example, we have the cave paintings. What we see in as paintings or um, sometimes manuscripts uh, written by people or what we call in Arabic مخطوطات, okay uh, maybe they are uh, car car caved in uh, you can see them in, in stones in tombs in monuments um, all of these are signs of uh, mythology of course uh, the structure itself uh, may be uh, also uh, given in different writings so as I said, uh, history uh, is reflected within uh, the minds of people who were story, uh, who were uh, telling such stories or mythologies. And you can see, for example, different references that talk about uh, religion, for example, trying to um, um, uh, to narrate uh, the religious point of view from their point of view. So they, in a way, the concept uh, of religion uh, is is given through uh, the the human mind, but given in a mysterious, uh, holy way, um, that shows how powerful, uh, you know, um, the uh, ideas were uh, given at that time, and of course it reflects the reaction of psychology of people reacting to the universe and to the environment, as uh, you can see here, for example. Uh, that's, uh, for example, one of the artists, uh, and it wasn't known who, is, who was that artist, but it looks that it, is, it belongs to the Egyptian, uh, uh, Pharaoh's uh, Egyptian. Uh, and you can see it here from the Eastern uh, world, it calls mythology as uh, presented uh, nowadays, okay, in Greek and ancient uh, mythology. Where you can see, uh, of course, they they were trying to um, protect, uh, you know, their own uh, world in using uh, mythology in a way. Okay. Also, we have different types of mythology, as you can see. For example, um, the hero with thousands of faces. For example, this is one of the works that presents um, mythology and different kinds of mythos. Myths uh, like uh, what we call a mono myth. Mono myth is um, usually discussed by um, just one character, one uh, people uh, that reflect certain ideas about that uh, specific uh, people. For example, uh, so we have, for example, here different kinds of myth. We are going to talk about the historical myth. And sometimes the uh, psychological myth. Okay, so um, for example, here I'm going to present to you some of these about um, the, the open um, uh, box of Lawrence, for example, uh, Alma Tadema public domain, and some of them are reflected in battles. You can see them when you when you read a story, for example. From the ancient history, where we can see different ideas about battles uh, discussed. For example, one of the famous battles that I'm sure you know and you took in English literature is the Siege of Troy. 
and uh, Homer's Iliad Odyssey, of course, I'm sure you know it, right? Um, Homer Iliad and Odyssey, or Odysseus, as, as it's uh, said in, uh, in ancient uh, literature, and the Odyssey or the adventure in the work of Virgil. These are all reflecting what we call uh, myths, okay? Here also you can see, for example, uh, the mythology of uh, Oedipus. Uh, one of the great works uh, that, of course, you can read, and I, I, I advise you to read, Oedipus, the Sphinx of the Thebes. Uh, I read it before. It was an excellent, it is an excellent uh, myth, myth given in Greek uh, that reflect the ancient Greek history and the audience and the way they used to think about uh, myths in the, in the um, ancient Greek era. era. We have also um, different ancient, uh, you know, meanings of uh, the story that was uh, important. Not only, any, it, it doesn't only reflect it, it, it actually it doesn't reflect the truth. It reflects the way they think about uh, nature at that time, and the creation, and the, the version of uh, or the tale of creation according to them. Okay, of course they used to think um, to to believe in different gods, as you can see here. They have certain ideas about agriculture. They 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 look to to agriculture as the the. This, uh, as a secret, okay, and they are trying to, uh, let's say, worship it in a way, uh, so as to continue having uh, this, you know, nature that is giving uh, life to to others. Uh, what else? Uh, of course, um, you can see uh, if you want to go to China, to Eastern, uh, also uh, culture. You can see different dynasties, and uh, of course they concentrate on art and music that reflect, and the writings, of course, that reflect their myths, different myths, okay? And especially that has to do with uh, uh, Sumerians, okay, Sumerians' poem. Uh, we have also different films nowadays that talk about uh, this literature. As you can see, it is, you know, uh, the tablets, uh, that goes or or goes goes back to that uh, epic, and the flood uh, of table tablet that is given from the Gilgamesh. You know, yeah, if, I'm, I'm sure you know this word, the Gilgamesh era, also reflects the psychological hero or journey of heroes at that time. Of course, we have also the great tale of Prometheus. I don't know if you took uh, if you heard about this. In, in, uh, in other uh, courses in the English department. Uh, it's very famous, the, the Greek tale of Prometheus, which to that talks about the fire bringer and the teacher of humanity. Okay? Um, and of, of course, this is echoed also in other, other ancient, uh, uh, you know, uh, stories. As you can see, the, the myth mythology uh, reflects different, uh, you know, uh, uh, stories that are given in different uh, cultures. So you can see a great similarity between different types of uh, uh, stories uh, or as considered as myth. For example, as you can see, the purpose of a myth is to provide the hearer with truth. So to them, as I said last time, truth is a word that is discussed in philosophy. What is truth? What is false? What is true? Right? And this is uh, discussed uh, nowadays we say it is relative but at that time they used to say they, there is a specific truth and they try to present it to the audience with a story of course it's supernatural usually and they have superpowers and they they stress certain values according to the system according to their system of, of living and this differs, for example, from Sumeri or Samaria to Egypt to what we call Phoenicia, Phoenicia, which is also in China and in Egypt. Um, and then after the, the birth of Christ, Jesus Christ book also represented many, um, and also in the Quran, you can see different myths that were 
they, that were talked, you know, about uh, in the in the past, in the ancient uh, history, uh, what we call al asatir or uh, now we say it's khurafat, but it, it's not. To them, it was uh, reality or it was the truth at that time, according to their uh, way of thinking. Now, we have also, if you if you want to talk about the mythology. You cannot ignore uh, the, uh, you know, the Muzaffaratian uh, literature. Uh, this reflects also the historic context in, in, in different uh, eras and times. And also, I want you to go back to one of the um, books here that reflect uh, this part. Uh, here you can see different books. If you want to, to read one of them or have a look on one of them, I advise you. I put it on your um, as one of the links to, to go back. You have, you have here, for example, the creative mythology, how mythology teaches uh, to, to be more creative and how the primitive mythology, for example, the mask of, of, of God, uh, here it's God capital letter, but they, they are talking about mythology in the in the this this book discusses, for example, mythology mythology in primitive uh, ancient uh, eras and history, how it was reflected as uh, different masks of uh, God, the one God that we believe in. Okay, um, the Greek mythology, of course, uh, this is a very famous book, and we have also here uh, every every uh, you know people have or nation, they have their own uh, mythologies, okay? For example, the Hawaiian uh, mythology, we have um, the, the classical mythology, okay? The dictionary of classical mythology, for example, and here you can see the citation of it, as I said last time. So it's a, a dictionary, this is very important uh, um, book, let's say. Of course, you can uh, see here PDF, you can download it if you want to have a look on it to uh, know more about this part, the, the Dictionary of Classical uh, Mythology, okay? I don't want to waste more time on this, but just wanted to let, ha, let you have a, an idea. Here, in this part, this link, I gave you a, a list of uh, YouTubes that you can uh, have a look and enjoy if you have uh, free time. Okay, of course, you can enjoy to see what, uh, how they discuss the idea of um, mythology. Okay, but of course, some of them are not um, scientific, and you will you will discover this at the end. Okay, now I want to talk about them now. Let's go to one of the uh, powerpoints that I already posted on your uh, team's um, page. It says, uh, it discusses here uh, this table of content, the types of myths, what's the purpose of myth or mythology, and different kinds or examples of myths, and what is meant by God and goddesses, how different they are. Now, here you can see, this is one of the, the, the paintings that I want you to think about next time. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, you know that I will. Uh, I work on different quizzes later on. As I I sent you, we'll have quizzes and we have two exams, or I may ask you to present certain presentation very brief, to to have maybe because the, your your number is uh, only twelve people. So I will be giving you um, certain. Uh, job to work on here, which is to present certain mythologies, for example. So these are some paintings that were presented in, in, in mythology. And we'll discuss now the in, in introduction, the creation, one of the major and famous uh, stories in mythology. It, it was based on the creation and how were myth created. Um, as you can see, they were created all from the minds of humans, starting trying, they were trying to answer questions about creation. Okay, so this question raised many, many um, ideas 
uh, and they they here try. Uh, of course, you can see the different you know uh, art has to do with myth because um, it reflects how uh, the way of thinking, uh, the way they used to to um, uh, believe in it, the way they used to um, introduce it in the minds of others through uh, different uh, let's say um, artistic ways. One of them is painting, as you can see here. So a creation myth, uh, some of them uh, concentrate on earth, some of them concentrate on people. So in, in, in this, you can see it's a combination of both earth and people, okay? And also natural myth that has to do with other parts of nature, okay? For example, uh, animals, okay? And they always refer to, to heroes. I always referring to heroes. And here, the word hero, it differs according to the culture, according to the ancient uh, way of thinking. In Greek and Roman mythology, the action of gods, they, they reflected uh, the word hero in, in the way they thought about God. God, to us, it's uh, in capital letter, but to them, if you are, if you believe in different gods, that would be a small letter. So to them, it is a, let's say here, a small god. Okay, so it's the action of gods, not God, the capital letter. Okay, so they are, they have different gods, and the way, or let's say, the actions of God. Okay, and they differ, or they have different ways of thinking about it. Let's see how they think about it, or they used to think about it. That was before Christ, okay? Now, what's the purpose of myth? Why do they refer to myth and mythology? To them, it explains how something come to be. So, the stories, how are they related? How do they believe in it? They go, for example, if they if they see see any any uh, anything uh, in nature, they try to explain it. According to them, this is how it it is there. So it is how it come to be, how it is there. Okay. So it, they are simply interpreting the way they are thinking. Okay. This is how they saw it now. Now they teach, they use it. So first, so it explains. This is one of the purposes. It explains. So it is interpretation and explanation. Number two, it teaches a moral lesson. So they may use it to teach, for example, their their kids and uh, you know ancestors um, a lesson. And usually here, this relates to what we said uh, last time, the the values and the ethical part. So it's a moral lesson. Okay. So out of this story, at the end, you will you will uh, you know. Uh, induce or come to know or realize a certain moral uh, lesson. Then we have the idea of explaining the historical events. So here, the difference between the first and the last, the first one here, it explains how things are going on, while the last one, it, it, it reflects the, the history. Certainly, uh, just just trying to... to, to uh, uh, to reflect the events, what happened, okay? As any any kind of history um, reflect the history of its nation, okay? Now, here are some examples for you. Let me give you here some examples, and I'm giving you lots of, uh, as you can say, see uh, paintings, some examples about myths, and each one has a story. Now, we don't want to go now in, in depth in that story, but I can, I urge you to, cho to choose any, any one of them and to make, to search on that. Uh, and, you, and, and usually, as I told you, go, go and search. Let's, let's have the question at the end, okay, uh, students? I'll give you time at the end. You just write now your, your questions and we'll go back to that at the end. Um, the last 15 minutes will be for you. Now here, the, 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 you can take any one of them and go back and search for it using Google and Google Scholar, uh, of course, to see um, what was the story, what was behind that myth. 
For example, in according to Egyptians, we have, for example, a, a very famous uh, myth that is called the kings, kings as gods, kings as gods. Uh, here, they reflected uh, kings as gods. And this is very, very clear till nowadays. In the Arab also here, we are not talking about the, East, the Western, we are talking about the Eastern mythology. Uh, although our course talks about the Western, but I wanted to, to let you see the difference and how, how they differ uh, ancient um, Eastern, Eastern from uh, Western. Because till now, um, you can see the emphasis, you can see the results. And this is not only in Egypt, this is also in the Arab world and most, uh, you know, Eastern cultures that we uh, tend to uh, look at uh, kings as gods, as, this, as, as if they are our gods. And gods here uh, in small letter, but what is meant by that, that it's, they are not real gods, but they are um, powerful enough that we respect and we cannot uh, overpass okay we cannot accept any any people to discuss anything um, uh, not uh, limited to their uh, powers of course that is uh, rationalized or understood if you understand their mythology so why do uh, egyptian people do this they used to do this because they do used to, th to think about kings as gods now, this, the Persian, for example, the Persians, uh, they they think of their myth. Uh, all uh, you can see it concentrating on struggles. So all their history is partly, uh, let's say, struggles. Until now, we can see the struggles. Nowadays, we have we see the struggles between uh, um, the the good and evil or the struggles that we can see in, in, in uh, politically between uh, Arabs and Persians, for example, nowadays, between uh, different, uh, you know, uh, castes of religion, uh, for example, uh, Sunnis and Shi'is, okay? You can see this in because it reflects their culture, okay, the struggles. Now, in India, you have epics, okay? Uh, the epics uh, in Indian uh, literature uh, that, uh, you know, what's an epic in, in English? Uh, it's like a long poem. Um, in Arabic, we have epics, for example. It's like uh, malahim or malhame, which is, we have it as muallaqat, you, you know that, okay? For example, the Sumerians or co also. Uh, so we have different uh, Sumerian, okay? Uh, different uh, epics um, or let's say examples of myths in, in different literatures. Here I'm giving just certain uh, uh, topics to, 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 to have a look at. For example, this one, this one reflects the, the, the Indian. And they used to, to combine music to art, as you can see, to illustrate uh, their myths and stories. Here you can see also, this is very uh, famous uh, painting about gods and goddesses. Of course, I'm writing here it as in, in capital letter, but you can write it in small letter, but here it's just a title. Okay, this is why we put it in capital letter. But if it's in the, in the middle, if it's not a title, I can write it in small letter. Okay, and you can see this in modern films. Nowadays films, some of them, for example, Troy and Sparta, they talked about this, gods and goddesses. So this is very important because when we, in their, in their uh, terms of view, they used to think about goddesses, which is the female of God, which so they, they, they accepted the idea of having superpowers from uh, women, okay? Um, but for example, in the Arab uh, mythology, um, you, you cannot see superpowers from women, okay? Um, this is the difference, but you can see it, for example, in, uh, in Egyptian, in old and uh, Paris, uh, Egyptian, uh, ancient Egyptian uh, uh, mythology, okay? So, you can understand the history and the way of thinking of that country or people according to the mythology of it, how it used to be.
Now we have, for example, another example, very famous example is Zeus. I'm sure you 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 heard you heard about this name. Zeus is the god of gods and the ruler of Mount Olympus. Okay, till now we have games that is uh, upon this mount, Mount of Olympus, and it was known because of his weapon, which is the thunderbolt. Okay, as you can see in this painting, the thunderbolt. And, uh, you know, he is the brother and husband of Hera. At his time, at there in ancient Greek uh, literature, it was okay with them, and in, in also in Roman literature, it was okay with them to, to have a, a brother and husband, see? So, um, it was acceptable to be a brother and a husband. Hera is, Hera, uh, is the, the goddess, okay? One of the goddesses. A very famous goddesses okay and you can see this also in if you if you watch the the film Troy you can see this idea being a brother and husband which is not accepted in our of course uh, morals and religion uh, in in our li literature and our mythology also right but at that time it was accepted now this is Hera Hera she's the, the it represents the queen of gods and goddesses. Now, um, I, I prefer to say that it's the queen of goddesses, okay? Um, but, but it reflects also marriage and family. This is very important, marriage and family, because um, uh, uh, the idea of marriage, the idea of family is represented through the word or the, the goddess um, uh, Hera. So if you heard this name, it, it is it goes to her okay and the wife and sister of Zeus also wife and sister very strange to us right but it was at that time now um, if you watch a film that's called Poseidon Lords of Seas Lords of Seas and earthquakes and you know uh, brother of Zeus and Hades see so we have a family that is and goddesses, okay, which is Poseidon. The, so they try to reflect the nature itself, uh, trying to understand na nature and superpowers by the idea of gods and goddesses. See what they are, they are doing now? Uh, this is the mythology they are reflecting. For example, we have here the Hades, Hades god of underworld, ruling over the dead, okay? And here, this this is a way to try to understand what what happens when people are uh, dead. Okay, so under the world, underworld, and ruling over the dead. And brother, he's the brother of Zeus. He has the helmet that makes him invisible, so you cannot see him. Okay, uh, and this is one of the you know uh, also uh, heroes with with three three. Uh, as you can see here, heads, okay? For example, here we have uh, the Hestia, uh, Zia's sister, she is Zia's sister, and goddess of, here you have the, the, the heart, not heart, heart, okay? And we have, she is carried, she carried the new, uh, you know, uh, before it was born, received into the family, the new, the new, here meant the new the new heart, okay? The new heart. It wasn't written here. The new heart before that is born before it was received into the family. Sure. So she is trying to give a heart to the family. Okay. This is the Hestia. We have also uh, this one. I'm sure you know the mermaid. Mermaid uh, as a child from, you know, one of the famous uh, films that talks about mermaid. We have the Demeter, goddess of agriculture, for example. Demeter or Demetrius, god of goddess of agriculture. And here it's feminine. This is why nowadays this will interpret how we think about it in, in um, contemporary philosophy. 
and in development, sustainable development, they used to think about the green, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, environment uh, and green development, saying that women are more. Uh, um, usually, they 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 do support in the environment more than uh, men, and they are more friendly. Okay, um, this is very maybe this is taken from uh, this idea, uh, which is the uh, Demetrius or Demetrius or Demeter, goddess of agriculture. So it is feminine more than masculine. Okay, the idea itself, and this is why maybe we say. Um, the world or earth is uh, the mother, okay? The mother, we say. This reflects maybe the ancient history and mythology. Um, also, we have Apollo. Apollo, which is god of light and knowledge, music, poetry, okay? And um, he was a twin brother of Artemis, the youngest child of Zeus and Leto. So Apollo... Uh, known as, of, co of course, all people who uh, play music and uh, write poets, poems, okay, they, 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 they know what is Apollo. So it's, a, it's like a god of light, as, as you can see here. Uh, we also have Ares, which is god of war and violence. So here... If they talk about wars, they go back to uh, this god, uh, Ares, which is son of Zeus and Hera, and of course all gods that hated him except except who Aphrodite, because Aphrodite is the god of, or let's say, of love here. Okay, so Ares. We have also here Athena. Athena, uh, the, the, the well-known Athen Athens that we know nowadays, reflects the, the word Athena, which goes back to the god of wisdom, and she is the, the daughter of Zeus, um, and she was virgin. And here, uh, this is why uh, we have, as you can you know, Greek is, it was divided in Athens and Sparta, and Athena was full of uh, philosophers, and this is why, because it was called God of Wisdom. And you can see here uh, this animal that, uh, you know, uh, gives it's, it's, it's a sign of a uh, wisdom that we all know it's a sign of wisdom, the owl, uh, the owl. And we have what you can see here, what she has with her, uh, the papers that reflect knowledge and books and the compass, as you can see here. Okay. Also, here you can see Aphrodite, as I told you. She is the goddess of love. See, uh, I, I told you Apollo, and I gave you here if you, Athena. Athena, Again, God, as I said. But, but you can see, uh, some, some of them are gods, some of them are goddesses. This is a goddess of love, beauty and desire. Okay. And you can see also here uh, Hermes, god of communication. This is very, uh, you know, important for those who are who take now uh, the course of communication. That Hermes was the god of communication and son of Zeus and nymph Mia. Okay, nymph. You know, it's like uh, you know, it's a nymph. A very very uh, small creature, and uh, or Maya, so you can call it Maya. And see here, it's communication. See how uh, it's moving uh, with this, uh, you know, and flying. You can see here. So this is communication, and of course you can see all this. Different mythologies, you can go back to the Greek and drawn by, you know, an ebook that you can here download if you want to have more detailed uh, ideas. Okay, now let me see if you have any question, people, but students, you are, are excellent. I have eight now attendees. Let me now stop uh, the recording and listen to your questions.